Hey everybody, welcome to my goal setting for 2021 and reflection for 2021. And so I actually made a template, like a reflection and goal setting sheet for 2021 that I wanted to share with you guys. And if you're interested in this, you guys can check out my description and I will post a link to this reflection and goal setting sheet if you guys are interested. So I printed out this sheet and I made this sheet because I really couldn't find anything in my planner. I have the happy planner which I love it. I'm literally obsessed with it and my planner does not really have any sort of goal setting reflection sheet for the new year so that is why I made my own. I am going to cut it. They have the little cut marks right here where I'm gonna cut it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these before January. There we go. And those that is my insert. Okay, so now we are ready to plan. Every year I start off with a verse of the year. So something that I'm just gonna be mindful of for the year. This past year, it was the verse, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. But this year I was really praying and thinking about what is a verse that I really wanna be reminded of throughout the year. And so I chose Galatians 1.10. So I'm just gonna look up Galatians 1.10 really quick. Okay, so I chose my verse for the year, and like I said, I chose Galatians 1.10, and so it says, for am, if for am I now seeking the approval of man or of God, or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. So that is my verse of the year, and this is just like a verse that I want to reflect on through the year, and I just feel like it kind of gives me like a vibe or a mood to have throughout the year. So my next question that I kind of am going to ask myself as I look ahead and I think about 2021 is where do you think God is leading you? So like what do I think God is leading me to do in um, 2021? I put, I think God is leading me to stop looking for the approval of others and find my identity in him. So that kind of leads me, you know, to my verse of the year. So this is like the foundation for the year. So then I'm going to think about what am I most excited about this year? So I'm trying to think what am I most excited about this year? So I put, what am I most excited about this year? I put, I'm excited to start my own business and start living my dreams. That's something I wanted to start doing in 2021 is I went to start an actual business to get paid. Oh, I have another, what am I most excited? I'm also excited to graduate. I forgot. I'm also excited to graduate. I'm graduating grad school this year. So the next is how do you want to grow this year? So I'm just trying to think about how I want to grow this year. I think, to be honest, I don't really know my answer to that yet. So thankfully it's in my planner, so I'll always have it. So I'm just going to skip ahead and think about that later. So next we have my bucket list. <laughs> so the first goal we're gonna look at is personal goals. So I actually got a bunch of my goals. I actually wrote them a bunch of my goals for 2021 on a paper. So I'm kind of just gonna use this as a guideline to figure out what kind of goals I want to accomplish. Personal to me, that's kind of me. That kind of means like anything that. Actually, let me put this over here. Anything that is just like about me, maybe like fitness or anything that I want to accomplish personally. Let's 
So right now, I'm not going to fill this up right now, but I'm sure through the year, I'm going to have other goals. So kind of my goals for personal this year are shop local and at small businesses. I really want to start shopping just at small businesses more, especially 2020 kind of made me realize I don't at all shop at small businesses, but I really love looking at small business like stories on Instagram and at tic on TikTok. So I'm going to do that more. I also really want to volunteer this year. This past year, I did not volunteer, which I actually, I feel like I volunteer. I've, I mean, I'm a pastor's kid, so I've been volunteering in church forever, but this is like one of the first years where I'm not volunteering for anything in 2020. So in 2021, I really want to volunteer somewhere. And then finally, I have graduate grad school with a 3.5 or higher. So I am supposed to graduate grad school in the fall of 2021. And so I'm just hoping that I graduate with a really good grade. And then throughout the year, I'm sure I'll be able to think of other things I want to accomplish. Okay, secondly, we have spiritual goals. So this to me is kind of, I didn't put like a ton of space just because I feel like when it comes to spiritual spirituality, you don't really know how things are going to go. I just, yeah. But to me, this is like more spiritual disciplines. What kind of spiritual disciplines do I want to do? Like regarding church, regarding my relationship with God, where do I want it to go in 2021? <music> Okay, so I'm going to leave some space again just because I want to leave time. There's still time for 2021 and I might add things. And so my spiritual goals for the year, I don't know what is wrong with my writing today. I am just totally off. But one of my goals is to read my Bible daily, to go to a small group at least once. So at church, we have small groups and I have really not like partake, partake in, partake, partook in any of those small groups this year. I mean, even with COVID, they still had small groups, even like virtually. And I just was really not into that this year for some reason. So I would like to go to a small group at least once. And then I also am writing a devotional that I would really like to finish. And it is about breakups and, you know, Christian girls going through breakups. So, I mean, that's kind of like a work thing-ish, but I feel like because, I don't know, it's like a spiritual thing, it's a Christian thing, I'm gonna put it under spiritual. Okay, next we have financial goals. Financial goals I wanna accomplish this year, that is super easy for me. <music> Okay, so my financial goals for the year, I put start saving for a house. Um, Daniel and I really do want to buy a house one day, so we're gonna start saving next year. We also, also wanna finish our six months um, of a savings account. So if you follow Dave Ramsey at all, he kinda recommends having three to six months worth of expenses in a savings account. And so we are about to finish our six months worth of expenses in our savings account. So we're gonna finish that probably in February or January. And then kind of finally, my goal is to make at least $1,000 from side gigs. So as you will see in the next page, I have a lot of like blog, website, YouTube kind of gigs. I'm trying to do a lot of side gigs in 2021. I feel like it's the year of the side gig. So I want to make at least a thousand dollars, which honestly I feel like is a really attainable goal, but um, hopefully I make more, honestly. Okay, and the last one on this page, obviously I love to travel, so I have a whole long list of um, options for a travel bucket list. So kind of just like, where do I want to go in 2021? What do we want to do? I am not going to fill out this completely today because I haven't done enough research about where I want to go. But my number one travel place I want to go to is 
go to Israel. So Daniel and I were supposed to visit Israel last or actually in 2020 and it's been delayed three times already and so hopefully we'll be able to go in 2021 but I just have no idea at this point what's gonna happen but that's still gonna be our goal we are still saving up for it and I'm actually just gonna leave the rest blank until I do a little bit more research and as I think about places I want to go for the year so next page we have side business so I'm thinking about what are some goals that I want to accomplish for my side business. Like I told you guys, I am starting a side business in 2021. It's going to be a photography, videography, and marketing side business that I am still in the works of making the business plan right now. So kind of like what are some goals I want to accomplish with the side business? I want to so I'm gonna just think about those goals and write some down for now and then I'll probably write some down later. Well, first of all, probably the main goal is to actually launch it, but I didn't even put that because I'm just gonna assume that that's really gonna happen. So I put get at least one customer a month. I also want to make sure I'm researching video photography or marketing weekly. So kind of to just train myself and make myself better at those skills. Um, yeah, I don't want to like just not ever be researching trends and stuff. And then finally, I want to create a consistent Instagram. So for the business, I want to have an Instagram page that I am updating consistently. Okay, then we have relational. That is pretty easy. This is anything about like friendships or family relationships or, you know, maybe a relationship with my husband. So relationship kind of goals I want to accomplish. I'm just gonna have one goal for the year right now and that is to make a friend because I have been living in the city that I'm in for about a year and a half and I don't really have like a consistent friend um, that I've made. Obviously <laughs> COVID has made it kind of hard to make friends as well. So I don't feel like I have like a community here. Maybe like my work community is awesome and I love them but like I don't have an outside from work friend. So that's something that I would really like to do in 2021. That sounds really sad. I know. This is this is life. What can I say? All right. Next, we have our my blog. So, what is what are things I want to accomplish for my blog? <music> Again, I'm gonna leave some space and so things I want to accomplish for my blog that I have that is my website traveling with faith it's basically a blog I really want to start getting paid this year from it I just just started doing AdSense where I can have ads on my blog and I didn't even know that you could do that until like literally a week ago so I I'm hoping that I will start getting paid for my blog. I also want to make sure that I'm posting consistently in 2021. I want to make at least three posts a month. Ideally, I want to create one post a week, but this week has already been, I've already had trouble this week. So I'm just going to be realistic and put three posts a month. That would be awesome if I could do that. And then also I want to make my email list larger. So build up my email list. I don't really have a lot of subscribers on my blog, so I really just want to build that up in 2021. All right, next we have YouTube. So what are things that I would like to accomplish for YouTube? <music> So I'm going to leave some space for one more. Honestly, I might go back and make this a little bit longer because I feel like I have a lot of goals for YouTube. But my number one goal 
is I really want to get monetized this year. I actually made that a goal in 2020, but it did not happen. So I'm hoping I'll get monetized this year. I also really want to make, I know I have to make more, more videos and more consistently. I didn't put that as a goal, but like, I just know that that's how I'm going to make this happen. I also really want to focus and find my audience because I just feel like this YouTube channel has been kind of a hot mess because I started it when I was like in high school actually and so I didn't really know what I was doing. YouTube was very new and so I just feel like through the years I've had different t like different things on this channel like I remember I had movie reviews. I remember I used to do just like comedy and funny things. And I used to do music, so I just feel like I need to focus and like find out what is this YouTube channel about? Like obviously I love travel, but what kind of travel? Like what travel is it about? So I need to focus and like figure out who the audience is. So finally my last goal for YouTube is market to more people. That's something that I've been not great at it, with YouTube is marketing this channel and marketing my videos to more people. I really, of course, want to get more subscribers because that'll help me get monetized. But yes, those are my goals for now for YouTube. And then finally we have career and work goals. So anything that is going to be with like work related at my job. And there's a few things I want to accomplish at my work. I do work at a nonprofit. I work as the community outreach coordinator, so I do like volunteer coordination, I do marketing with them, I do donor relations. So I'm trying to think what is, what do I want to accomplish at work? Okay, so that is just all I'm gonna write down for now. I'm gonna think a little bit more about this when I'm actually at work, cause it'll probably get me re really way more focused. So kind of the things I wanna accomplish in my job this year, or in, I guess next year, is I want to make a book for like a book fundraiser. I have this really cool idea of making a book that's basically written by the foster kids and then, you know, selling that book for the organization so I thought that would be really cool I also really want to create an adopt a family um, sort of project where people in the community can adopt a foster family every month and give them like a meal or a gift card or like just a, a letter of encouragement or something so I really would like to do that in 2021 I also really want to make an adoption highlight video I've been not having a lot of time to do that, but that's something I really wanted to do. We've had a lot of adoptions at our agency in the past year. So I want to make like a, a highlight video of all of the adoptions. I also want to do, I thought about doing a birthday tree where instead of like an angel tree at Christmas where you can pick a child and get them a Christmas gift, I kind of thought about doing something for a birthday tree where people can pick a child's name for their birthday and then get them a birthday gift. But we'll see if I do that. That's kind of an option. That's why I put a little bit of a question mark on it. This is my reflection page that is on the back of the bucket list. And this is just to reflect back on 2020. So I have highs, lows, how did I grow? and what needs to be left behind in 2020. Highs for me are pretty easy for 2020 because it was a huge year for me. So I am just gonna put some of those things down. So these are some of my highs for the year. First of all, I got married at the beginning of the year, January 4th. So that is probably my biggest high of the year. I also got out of debt this year, super cool. I also feel like I'm starting to find my purpose a lot more in 2021, especially in my 30s. I just feel like 
I'm finding my purpose and I'm more confident about what I want to do. I also have been getting motivated lately to start a business and I feel like I'm really actually taking steps to make that happen. I also am proud of myself because I stayed positive, maybe not all the time through 2020, but um, I feel like I'm ending the year still positive and still hopeful for the future. I also am grateful because a lot of my family did get COVID this year, so and then everyone has recovered from it. So I'm really thankful that everyone is healthy. I also um, successfully changed my job title at work. I talked to my boss about it earlier in the year, and we agreed to kind of give myself a raise in a job title name. Um, so I didn't actually get money, but I am proud that I kind of like changed my job title to something that I'm more, I feel like fits me. I also am happy because I got to travel a lot this year, even through COVID. Um, at the beginning of the year before COVID, I went to Costa Rica. I went to Nashville this year. I went to Wichita Falls, went to Wichita, Kansas. I got to see a lot of Oklahoma and yeah, I'm happy that I still got to travel this year. So there's still some good things that happened. And I did want to put my lows down just because life is not perfect. And I think it's important to remember that and also um, just like reflect on the fact that bad things did happen and that kind of sucks. Okay, so my lows for the year are that my grandma passed away. My um, second was that I had panic attacks. I'm sure like a lot of people in 2020, I had a lot of fear and panic and that was definitely one of my lows. Also, I lost one of my best friends this year who basically we had a bit of a falling out. And then I also didn't accomplish all of my goals. So that those are my lows for the year. I'm sure I can think of more, but I'm probably not going to write them all today. And then how did I grow in 20? 20. Oh man, I felt like 2020 was a year of just absolute growth. So yeah. is that I started to find my purpose and gain confidence a lot in 2020. I started sharing more about like my opinions and things that are controversial and I've survived them and I feel like that's really a lot of growth. I also feel like I've changed my viewpoints a lot. I think just getting married, you start to change a lot of things because, I mean, at least for me, because you're with someone all the time. I was never really with someone 24 seven. So yeah, I definitely feel like this was a huge year of growth for me. I just grew up so much and I'm really thankful for that. And then finally, what needs to be left behind? be left behind in 2020 I put negativity like I just felt like there was so I was I mean if you were on social media this year there was so much negativity in 2020 and I just feel like that needs to be left behind um, also caring about what others think of me too much I really struggle with that and I just feel like I'm really growing in learning my identity in Christ and also just laziness I felt like you know, 2020, I wasn't necessarily lazy, but uh, it's just such a weird year. I didn't really feel like myself. And I honestly feel like sometimes I probably was lazy and just making excuses. And so I really want to leave that behind in 2020. So that is my goal setting and reflection for 2021. I'm really excited for the upcoming year. I'm really excited to start my own business. I feel like that's gonna really be a game changer for 2021. And I'm going to be continually updating my goals in the next few weeks. This is kind of, I feel like a rough draft of what might be the final part of what I'm doing. I'm gonna post 
a link in the description to um, this goal planning reflection sheet that you guys can check out. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what are your plans for 2021? What is your ultimate goal? What are you most excited about? I want to know and hopefully I, you guys have a great and happy new year. See you guys next video. Bye.